Welcome to the DEF CAM. From a Pakistani national security perspective, the evolving and asymmetric threat landscape, particularly along our eastern border, necessitates a continuous and sophisticated modernization of our integrated air defense architecture. The emerging challenges are no longer limited to conventional manned aircraft, but increasingly encompass a complex mix of cruise missiles, tactical ballistic missiles, and, most prolifically, low-cost unmanned aerial systems or drones. These systems, often deployed in swarms, present a unique and economically challenging threat, as engaging them with traditional surface-to-air missiles creates an unsustainable cost disparity. It is within this strategic context that the reported interest of the Pakistan Air Force in augmenting its capabilities with laser energy air defense weapons, alongside the potential acquisition of a high-altitude system like the HQ-19, represents a visionary and calculated leap toward a more robust, layered, and cost-effective defensive shield. This proposed combination signals a deliberate move to create a multi-tiered defense network that can engage threats across the entire spectrum of altitude, speed, and cost. The HQ-19, a system with reported capabilities against ballistic missiles, would fundamentally alter the strategic calculus of our air defense. While details are closely guarded, such a system is designed to engage targets in the exoatmospheric and endoatmospheric regions, providing an upper tier of defense against the most serious threats. This includes not only intermediate range ballistic missiles, but also potentially low Earth orbit satellites, though the primary focus for our needs would be the interception of enemy ballistic missiles aimed at high value strategic assets. The missile itself is a testament to advanced rocketry and guidance technology. It likely employs a multi-stage solid-fuel rocket motor, enabling the incredible velocity and altitude required for exoatmospheric interception. The kill vehicle at its tip would be equipped with its own sophisticated guidance system, combining inertial navigation with terminal homing, likely through an imaging infrared seeker or an active radar seeker. This allows it to discriminate the actual warhead from decoys or debris in the cluttered and hostile environment of space reentry. The engagement sequence would be managed by a powerful, ground-based engagement radar, a system with a massive detection range and tracking fidelity, capable of managing multiple incoming threats and guiding several interceptors simultaneously. The integration of such a system would provide a strategic umbrella, protecting our core national infrastructure from the highest-end missile threats and forcing any adversary to reconsider the efficacy of their strategic missile arsenals. However, a high-altitude system like the HQ-19, while critical for the strategic layer, does not address the proliferating threat of low and slow unmanned aerial vehicles or saturation attacks with cheap cruise missiles. This is where the revolutionary potential of directed energy, specifically high-energy laser weapons, enters the equation. Laser air defense systems function on a fundamentally different principle than kinetic interceptors. They project a concentrated beam of photonic energy onto a target, causing rapid heating that leads to structural failure, combustion of critical components, or destruction of the airframe. For the Pakistan Air Force, the operational advantages are transformative. The engagement cost per shot is reduced to the price of the electrical power required to generate the beam, which is negligible compared to the multi-million dollar cost of a surface-to-air missile. This makes laser systems uniquely suited for countering drone swarms, where a single launcher could engage dozens of targets in quick succession without the logistical and financial burden of replenishing a missile inventory. Furthermore, the speed of light engagement offers a near instantaneous hit. There is no time of flight calculation required as with a projectile, making it exceptionally effective against maneuvering targets. The technical architecture of a tactical laser air defense system is a complex integration of several subsystems. At its core is the laser source itself, which for military applications likely involves a combination of fiber lasers or other solid-state lasers. Multiple lower power laser beams are spectrally or coherently combined to generate a single, high-power beam capable of achieving militarily significant effects at tactically relevant ranges. This laser resonator is integrated with a sophisticated beam control system, which is arguably the most critical component after the laser itself. This system comprises a series of mirrors, lenses, and adaptive optics. The adaptive optics are essential for compensating for atmospheric turbulence, 
As the beam travels through the air, variations in temperature and density cause the light to scatter and distort, a phenomenon known as blooming. The adaptive optic system continuously measures and corrects for these distortions in real time, ensuring the beam remains tightly focused on the intended spot on the target. The entire apparatus is mounted on a mobile platform, such as a heavy truck, and is linked to a separate tracking radar and an electro-optical and infrared sensor suite. The radar provides cueing and rough tracking, while the high-resolution cameras and thermal imagers provide the fine tracking and aim point selection necessary for the laser to hold its focus on a specific component of the target, such as a fuel cell or flight control surface. The strategic synergy of deploying the HQ-19 alongside mobile laser defenses would create a comprehensive and resilient air defense network for Pakistan. The HQ-19 would provide the strategic shield, engaging high-altitude, high-speed ballistic threats in the upper atmosphere. Beneath this, our existing and proven systems like the LY-80 provide the medium-altitude coverage. Finally, at the very low-altitude and close-range tier, laser systems would create an impermeable and endlessly deep magazine against the threat of drones, loitering munitions, and rocket attacks. This layered approach ensures that an adversary cannot simply overwhelm our defenses by saturating us with low-cost threats. The lasers would efficiently dispose of such attacks, preserving our kinetic interceptors for more demanding targets that exceed the power limitations of the laser systems. This multi-domain defensive posture complicates an adversary's targeting planning exponentially, as they would have to contend with a system that is both qualitatively superior in the high-altitude regime and quantitatively indefatigable at the lower tiers. The pursuit of this technological combination is not merely an acquisition of new hardware, but a fundamental transformation of Pakistan's defensive doctrine. It represents a shift towards a smarter, more sustainable, and asymmetric response to the numerical and economic challenges we face. The development of the necessary command, control, and communications infrastructure to seamlessly integrate a long-range ballistic missile defense system with point defense lasers and our existing medium-range assets is a significant challenge, but one that is essential for creating a unified air defense picture. This network would allow for optimal threat assignment, ensuring that each incoming threat is engaged by the most appropriate and cost-effective layer of our defense. For the Pakistan Air Force, embracing this high-low mix of futuristic technology is a clear-eyed recognition of the wars of tomorrow. It is a commitment to maintaining the integrity of our sovereign airspace through technological superiority and strategic ingenuity, ensuring that our nation remains secure against the full spectrum of aerial threats, from the highest flying ballistic missile to the lowest and most numerous drone. Thanks, and stay connected to the upcoming videos.